Hey again and welcome back. This is just a quick video. I just want to show you how I organize my resistors. And um, I'll show you that I still need to work on the system, but so far so good. So the first thing you'll see is I have an envelope here with 150 ohms and a quarter. So what I've done is I bought one of those kits that has the you know, like 70 different um, values. And uh, it, it was kind of expensive, but it was it was over, uh, it's probably about 1,500 individual resistors, but it was just around 15, 15-ish dollars. And uh, what I did is I went to the dollar store and I got these envelopes and I put them all in their own envelopes. So I have, you know, a good variety of values. These are all quarter watt, as you can see, and it goes on and on. And then when I um, use, like, let's say two or three of the, I think it's 20 per value you get, I order more in, and um, that's why some of these, like the 150 ohm, has the original kit, which was this many, I'm just missing some, and another strip of 100 that I bought. So anyways, I found the f these things fit in little dollar store envelopes really easily. And so I built a little drawer for them out of foam board. And this foam board doesn't look great, but it definitely does the job. See, just foam board. And uh, yeah, so just a quick tip on how you guys can store your resistors. I find it pretty easy to go through this. I still need to do some more organizing because I would like to be able to have them like maybe, um, you know, like bookmarked, maybe a different color every um, major resistor. Like I think I have one ohm resistors in here and I have definitely have 10 ohm resistors. But yeah, I just thought I'd uh, show you my solution here. Go through some of my resistors. Got a bunch, and the ones I did use a lot of, I ordered some more. Uh, that one was a typo, I guess. I guess I could use another envelope for that one. I also, you'll see at the end here, 1K, I ordered extra of 1K, because 1K is used a lot. Um, 100K, 1 ohm. I did, I did order extras of the commonly used ones. But yeah, it's just an idea. You can keep your resistors in these things. So I don't really like the little component drawers. I find this packs a lot denser. And um, it's going to be a lot less of a problem moving forward because I did order another kit of resistors. These are kind of like the breadboarding resistors. But these guys here will be for soldering... Um, yeah, this is a very similar kit. I think it has 20 of each value and like, I don't know, like 50 or so values. But these guys are SMD. So these will be a lot easier to store. I'll just need much smaller envelopes and maybe I'll uh, tack a couple of these together. Maybe all the, like let's say the 1 ohm 10 ohm, 100 ohm, 1000 ohm, 10,000, whatever. I'll probably put them all on the same sleeve. But uh, yeah, big difference, huh? This kit compared to this kit. Hopefully you found this quick video informative. And once again, thanks for watching.